Hey guys, welcome to DanQ8000's Top 10 Games of 2011, where I look back on games that I think deserve some much needed recognition in this past year of 2011. Coming up is number 9 on the countdown, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now I know most people are probably a little confused as to why I picked this for my top 10. Well I'd like to explain, I've always been a rather big fan of the Assassin's Creed series. However, Assassin, the Assassin's Creed games have always kind of been, you know, you've done one thing and it's been the same in the other games. Well, this one followed the trilogy, I like to say, of, of Ezio Auditore games, where you follow Ezio Auditore. Now, I know people are probably tired of him and tired of seeing this, tired of seeing that, but this game I felt was better than uh, a lot of the other Assassin's Creed games. It felt to me like they really worked on, like the graphics looked a little, quite a bit better. Uh, the gameplay felt a, li a lot more polished to me. Uh, the the storyline, while you were kind of hoping for it to finish, you know, you're just like, come on, man. I mean, we've been doing Assassin's Creed for, I don't know how long now, you know, years upon years, and they're just looking for a reason to get a cash grab. This game was something I really enjoyed playing. Like, there are a few games that I really just enjoy to play. Some of them I just feel like I'm going through the motions, you know, whatever the case is. But this game, I even said so in my review, this game was a relaxing game. I felt like I could just jump across the rooftops on... You know, doing nothing in particular, just doing the parkour style that Assassin's Creed is famous for, and do that for hours upon end with no real purpose, you know, not having to do any missions or whatever. So I found that that was a great thing for me, and I feel that Assassin's Creed Revelations, they wrapped up the Ezio Auditori story nicely, and I'm interested to see what games they have coming up for, what they're going to do with... Um, with with uh, Dev, uh, Dev, Desmond Miles and uh, his story, because they're continuing with that. You you can tell from there. You can they're continuing with Desmond's story, and uh, you know the whole new aspect. Like in this game, there was absolutely there was no help from anybody from the outside world. It was all Desmond stuck inside the Animus, and he had Subject 16 to help him out a little bit. And uh, mainly though, it's just Desmond trying to work his way out of the Animus. So I'm interested to see what they're going to come up with next, but it is, it is one of my favorite games of this year, making number 9 on the countdown.